When you think of dinosaurs, the first thing that usually comes to mind is a giant lizard with sharp claws and even sharper teeth. But that is just half of the picture. During the Jurassic period, the world was populated by all kinds of big and small dinosaurs. And one of the amazing species was not the big, scary ones, but rather the massive tanks that managed to develop the most unbelievable armor. But just how good were the different types of armor? Why did they need them in the first place? And what dinosaurs had the best armor of any animal ever? Lasting from about 201 million years ago to about 145 million years ago, the Jurassic period played host to some of the most fascinating creatures to ever walk the Earth. From lethal predators fitted with killer mechanisms like claws, massive teeth, and agility as we've never seen before, to even more massive herbivores that put 10-story buildings to shame. The world was truly diverse, and each species had its own version of an adaptation that not only made the world easier to navigate, but also was essential for their existence. Among these adaptations, one of the most efficient and unique was the armor that many dinosaurs evolved. Primarily functioning as an efficient way to defend them from predators, these armors came in different shapes and sizes and even had additional uses like thermoregulation. They may have been used to attract mates or intimidate rivals. One of the most fascinating groups of herbivorous dinosaurs that developed distinctive body armor is the Stegosaur. Living during the Jurassic period, these dinosaurs evolved remarkable adaptations to protect themselves from predators, and perhaps their most famous member is the Stegosaurus. These dinosaurs roamed what is now North America, primarily in the western United States. Some of their fossils were found in the Morrison Formation, a sedimentary rock formation in Colorado rich with dinosaur fossils. Stegosaurus lived in a semi-arid environment with distinct wet and dry seasons, surrounded by conifer forests, ferns, and cycads. The Stegosaurus was a large dinosaur, reaching up to 30 feet in length and weighing around 5 to 7 tons, which is basically the same size as a modern-day bus. It stood about 9 feet tall at the hips and was distinctively known for its double row of large, kite-shaped plates that ran along its back and a set of four long spikes on its tail, known as the Thagomizer. These spikes could reach lengths of up to 3 feet and are formidable defensive weapons. To make a better comparison, the Stegosaurus used its spikes the same way a modern-day bull did with its horns, only it was definitely more deadly. Despite its size, evidence suggests that the Stegosaurus was likely a slow-moving dinosaur, as its short forelimbs and longer hindlimbs suggest that it walked in a way that kept its head low to the ground. As an herbivore, this made sense, as the Stegosaurus primarily fed on low-lying plants. It had a really small head and weak jaws with flat teeth, which were best suited for grinding vegetation. As such, its diet likely included ferns, cycads, and conifers. Besides this, the structure of its mouth also suggests it was a low browser, feeding on plants close to the ground, much like how cows feed on grass. The Stegosaurus also weirdly had a beak, which it likely used to clip vegetation before using its cheek teeth to grind it. Focusing on the armor, the function of its plates is still widely debated among scientists. Some believe they were used for display, perhaps to attract mates or intimidate rivals while others suggest they helped with thermoregulation by dissipating heat. But regardless of the side you're on, there was no disagreement about the tail spikes because they were undoubtedly defensive weapons capable of inflicting serious damage on any predator that dared to attack. The plates, too, might have also provided some level of protection, but in actuality they were more likely effective as a deterrent rather than as actual armor. Besides its armor, evidence also suggests that some Stegosaurus might have lived in groups, seeking protection in numbers. This social behavior would have provided additional defense against predators, and with a very small brain for its body size, about the size of a walnut, sticking in groups would have been the best option, as scientists today still debate whether it's an intelligent species. Another notable dinosaur from the Stegosaur group was the Huayangosaurus, an earlier and smaller relative of the Stegosaurus that lived in what is now China. It measured about 13 to 16 feet long, roughly the length of a car, and weighed around 1,000 pounds. Like its descendant, the Stegosaurus, the Huayangosaurus had a combination of plates and spikes along its back, providing both protection and a means to appear more intimidating to predators. The Dacentrurus was also another member of the Stegosaur family, although this one was found in Europe. It had an impressive array of plates and spikes, similar to the Stegosaurus, but with even more pronounced spikes. Reaching lengths of up to 26 feet, the size of a small truck, the Dacentrurus was no joke and was known for its defensive adaptations, which made it a challenging target for any predator. Moving on from the Stegosaur, another famous group of armored herbivores is the Ankylosaurs. 
Translating to stiff lizards, this group of herbivores was renowned for the extensive body armor and lived from the late Jurassic to the Cretaceous period, with early forms appearing during the Jurassic. Much like stegosaurs, the ankylosaurs primarily fed on low-lying plants and had beaks and leaf-shaped teeth suited for cropping and grinding tough vegetation. Their diet likely included ferns, cycads, and angiosperms. The structure of their jaws and teeth suggests they were well adapted to processing fibrous plant material. The armor of ankylosaurs served several important purposes. Firstly, it provided a formidable barrier against predators. This is because the bony plates and spikes offered significant protection, while the tail club could be swung with great force to deter or injure attackers. Additionally, some scientists believe the arrangement and size of the armor plates were used for display or to help individuals recognize members of their own species. The heavy armor also protected against injuries during fights with predators, other ankylosaurs, or moving through dense vegetation. One of its most famous and studied members is Ankylosaurus. A large dinosaur, reaching lengths of up to 30 feet and weighing around 4 to 6 tons, the Ankylosaurus weighed roughly the same as an African elephant and had a broad, low-slung body covered with osteoderms, aka bony plates, and spikes. Its most distinctive feature, however, was a large bony club at the end of its tail. Like many armored dinosaurs, ankylosaurs had relatively small brains compared to their body size. Despite this, they were well adapted to their environment and likely had keen senses to detect predators. They were also quadrupedal, walking on all four sturdy legs. Like the stegosaurs, they had robust limbs, were slow but stable movers, and were well suited for their heavily armored bodies. Evidence suggests that some ankylosaurs, much like the stegosaurs, might have lived in groups, providing additional protection through numbers. Essentially, they were like giant, deadly armadillos who lived in groups. Perhaps one of the most famous of the species was the Skeletosaurus. Considered one of the earliest ankylosaurs, they lived during the early Jurassic period in what is now England. This dinosaur reached a length of about 13 feet, similar to the length of a small car, and weighed around 660 to 880 pounds. The Skeletosaurus had a body covered with bony plates and small spikes that provided substantial protection against predators. Another popular species of ankylosaur was the Gargoyleosaurus, an ankylosaur from the late Jurassic period who was discovered in North America and measured around 10 to 13 feet in length and weighed approximately 1,000 pounds. This dinosaur had a mix of large flat plates and smaller rounded osteoderms along with spikes along its sides, making it one of the most well-defended dinosaurs of its time. Finally, there's the Polacanthus. Although more commonly associated with the early Cretaceous, Polacanthus had early relatives during the Jurassic period. The Polacanthus had an extensive armor system with large, flat bony plates and spikes along its sides that provided formidable protection. It reached lengths of about 16 to 20 feet, roughly the size of a small truck, and weighed around 2,000 to 3,000 pounds. So why did these dinosaurs need armor? Well, in a world where predators stood as tall as buildings with claws the size of a crowbar and speeds that would put any athlete to shame, it really is a no-brainer to see why they needed to evolve. The Jurassic period, for all its glam and glory, was really just an arms race between predator and prey as each one grew something different to attack or defend itself. Although they've died out, the arms race still continues today as more species around the world continue to fight for their survival. But what do you think? Would you like to see any of these dinosaurs in person? Do you think bullets would hurt them? And which was your favorite dinosaur? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe. Until next time, Stay curious.